Hi, Cancer. Okay, uh, anyone new to Opal Oracle? Welcome. Anyone returning? Hi. Now, um, before we begin, my friend, let me borrow these, so let's have a listen. Okay, before we begin, I just want to let you know that you're on the bottom of the deck. Good. The north node is also going into your sign, um, shifting from uh, from Leo. So that's important. Now, a few of your cards showed themselves. A few haven't. Let's see what you got. Good. second I get the wood stove I'm so excited all right cancer let me tune in a second please it's a new space I've never recorded here before so it always takes a minute for me to like settle into the how I feel plus I have like a lot of layers on What's interesting, your heart is very clear about something. Um, and in truth, it's very forward focused. But I sense that um, the power that you wield with your hand, your action that you take in the world will shift in a way. Um, it will become more energized for you to be able to achieve something differently, right? Balance, if you were like, I wish this to be balanced out. Um, or wherever it is that there's imbalances in your life, um, particularly any kind of lacking in the way that you're feeling strong about something, you can do that in the future. You can just, you have to decide, you have to know in your mind and in your heart, which actually is what the chariot card is, is your head and your heart, right? Your emotions and your mind moving forward. How do you well harness yourself, right? You know, you did a good job of making a fire when you can start taking off layers, you know? You know, when there's enough energy, when you don't need as many layers, right? No. You do have this line of air. There's like certain things that you know that you need to do and you need to say. But in other ways, you're af sometimes afraid to say those things <clears throat> and to do those things. And it depends how aware you are of what you're learning about. <clears throat> to whether you see this as something that is a part of the process of how you're changing. Or if you see it as a place of uncertainty, right? Which causes insecurity because we don't know something, right?
There's external things that affect you internally still. Scorpio had a message about this. It's their birth month, so that relates to everyone, okay? It's like where the internal reaction to something, again, I feel the need to emphasize, there's an internal reaction to, to external <clears throat> stimulus, stimuli in relation to old memories and things you were attached to emotionally, particularly when you were younger, that still connect to your subconscious that can now be cut out if you please. And I guess for each of you, you have a different way to be able to go about cutting it out, whatever it is, you know. But the only way to actually cut it out in totality is to correct the, you can't just cut it out. You have to know why it's doing it, know what's causing the situation to be that way. Internally, particularly, like your mental comprehension of the reality of the situation. And then because you know why, from, and I heard from a full circumference understanding, right? Like you're in the center, it's like where you take a, you know, like a, a nail and you tie a string to it and you hold it out and when you go all you know you pull the string as taut as possible you get a perfect circle you went all the way around right which is what the queen of swords does and that's in your center position you know and then if that's the case you take the correct action because that's the only way the Five of Swords turns into the Six of Swords is it's not just you have to correct the action. You have to correct what, what the mistake was, you know. But the only way to correct something is to know that something is not working, right? And this is, this is just for some of you, but it is important. I see the age six, something shifted. The age 12, something shifted. It's also the last 12 years, like the last six years and the last 12 years. But maybe for most of you, the last six years is big to, for, you, for you to like understand what you're able to achieve with your own power. Again, like holding in your hand, what are you doing? How are you doing it? You know, because if you, you think that you can, then you can. You can see it. You know what it is. You're able, you know, she has a free hand to grab this wand. And it's being offered to her and she's facing it, right? It's like accepting your blessings and understanding that whatever the blessings are may have come from something that was not as, you know, from a place of, I heard, purification or perfection because there is purification in it but that also takes acceptance right to purify is to cleanse whatever it is that's stuck in there right because you're a giver and that's what you're afraid of too is kind of giving giving too much and but not knowing somehow some way who you're giving, like whether you're giving your time, your energy, <clears throat> your money even to people that deserve it or not, <clears throat> or you're, it could be also figuring that out, right? Understanding that part of one of these pentacles you have to give to you at very least, right? <clears throat> Because that's 
how you, because what you're afraid of is actually that Six of Pentacles and how to solve it is the Ace of Cups, which is about loving you. And we've talked about this numerous times since I began this channel, and or this channel began rather, and, um, you know, it's like the love that you want to give to people, to your family, what have you, it's like, you know, when you, when Cancer, you're a cardinal sign, once you start feeling you know, giving that kind of feeling to yourself, that kind of energy to yourself, that acceptance and um, appreciation, no matter where you came from, then, well, that just makes your life better. You know, because you're, you're just as important as anyone else, you know. Then I know that can seem confusing at times, like where do you put yourself in, uh, in, you know, what percentage of life is to yourself? What percentage of your life is to God, I heard, to Mother Nature, right? Then we have all the other things. Because saying, giving that time and love to yourself, taking the time to solve you know, because you're so, your eye feels so, to have all this air in the middle too is, is a little bit of a, kind of a, it can be seen as a challenge. You know, not that a water sign doesn't have high possibility of thinking in a really in-depth way using the quality of air, but it's like, you learn through other people's feelings, but your mind is also seemingly processing a lot about like, it's not that you're leaving the feelings behind, but you I sense that you're just, maybe you're just really learning how to balance yourself, balance your own card, right? Sort out your, all, every sign has to figure out their major arcana, right? You have to mass, you have to try to master this one, at least putting in the effort. Look, I just, there's the magician. Yes, putting in the effort. Eight of Pentacles and the magician with your card. That's exactly how you receive that, right? And until... You understand that you can, you have the energy to do it, you have the wherewithal to do it, you have the experience, the know-how, all these things, you know, then you can move forward. Until then, the chariot stays still, right? The progression of self. I see that there's a strong figure. This is what, you're what you've been learning about. This is the King of Wands here. It's looking over at your subconscious, right? Look at this. All tied up in the subconscious, red outfit, now sitting pretty, right? And doing the external expression appropriately. Also, this piece of sage fell on her earlier, and now it keeps, like, popping itself on top of it. So I see that sage could be something that you, like, sage in your house, sage in yourself when you're feeling maybe overwhelmed or something, just a little bit, you don't need a lot, this is one little leaf, you know, that might help c cleanse the energy that's going on there, that, um, because, you know, we function from the subconscious so much that we don't understand it, it's the subconscious, you know, the conscious mind can be like, yeah, I'm not going to fight with you anymore, I'm going to, this, I understand the correct action to fix this problem, right, the queen of swords here, but you're, if the subconscious is this, this is definitely something to be, that you're up against. I see that an external force or person that has a lot of energy and, like, I heard gusto of, you know, they can go, I heard, from, like, 1 to 100 really fast. Um, I also sense that that's someone that's, like, would be by your side really quickly, you know? So knowing who that is and who those people are in your life, and also knowing that you can access that energy with inside of yourself also whenever you please. You know, that you can be there right by your side. Help yourself. Hold on, let me fix the fire one sec. It's okay. Oh. Hold on, Cancer. It's really cool. I haven't had a wood stove since I was a kid. Well, no, that's not true. I had one in New Mexico. 
but I love them. I love the smell of them. I love the feeling of the warmth of them. I like the effort of building the fire, finding the wood. Like I didn't buy any of this wood. I just went out and found it. And actually what's interesting is actually after I went around and I picked up all the sticks in the yard and like, you know, pieces because trees, people, I think people forget that too. Yeah, like leaves fall off the trees every year, but they also shed branches, whole branches, not just baby ones. Sometimes huge limbs fall off of trees because it needs to remove that, right? And after I'd done all this work of gathering all this wood and organizing it, like little baby pieces, middle pieces, bigger pieces I needed to chop up or what have you, all of a sudden I was just looking around and being, I had been quiet for a while just like standing out in nature, it's all surrounded by trees. And then all of a sudden I heard this like crack up in the trees. So I look up and it shed this huge branch. Like I actually saw it fall. It was like this big around, probably, I don't know, five, six feet long. Had another full branch off of that. And it was cool. And I was just like, thanks tree. You know, thanks for giving yourself to me. Because you know that I needed it and you didn't need it anymore. And maybe that's part of it too. Is like maybe there were parts of you that you needed at some other time in your life. But now you can give that back. Whatever little parts those are that you don't need anymore, right? To protect yourself or whatever. Because um, when you give that energy back, well, maybe someone else needs it now. You know? Because you're changing too. Very much. Cool. All right, I think that's that. I hope you have a wonderful November. I heard, don't worry. Okay. Love you. Peace.